Hi guys, it's Kristen. I got a couple dreams to share with you really quick, and I hope you're all doing well. Um, I had a couple of crazy things also happen that I wanted to share with you. And disclaimer, I'm going to use some copyrighted images from the web just for teaching purposes only. Um, so that way, you know, I can use them fairly. And um, I think that's about all I need to say about that because I don't want to be in trouble for sharing uh, copyrighted images, but it was uh, easier that way to get my point across. Um, so um, I've had a few dreams. Um, and also, he sent me some numbers that were crazy meaning, and so I'll get to it here and let you know you guys know about the dreams. I've had many dreams um, of moving, and many dreams of storms, and many dreams of the veil between dimensions thinning. So people are going to start seeing more supernatural things um, going on, and um, you can see easier into the next. Uh, dimension right now and it's going to continue to get worse and I'll explain why I think that again in a minute but I've had two dreams of that exactly um, where I could see uh, shadow figures and apparitions um, plainly and these things are going to continue to get worse where um, not only is the veil thinning but um, there's more energy around um, to be used I think but either way and we're going to be able to see it more clearly. And it probably is going to start freaking a lot of people out uh, seeing the things they're going to see. And then, um, early, so he's been giving me this name, Anna, for a few weeks. And I didn't really know why. But Anna is a part of, um, it means favor, grace, or beautiful. And the Hebrew... Anna came from the Hebrew name Hannah um, with an H. So that was crazy because I, I'm going to let you guys know what just happened to me a little bit ago. Um, he had given me, right in front of me was a car, and on the license plate, the number was 2584, and it means favored. But it also has Israelitess Hannah. And so. I thought, you got to be kidding, because he's been, like I said, giving me the name, not Hannah with an H, but Anna, for weeks. And then I get a number um, a moment ago. He says, look it up, and it means favored. And that's just confirmation for that, so that was crazy. And then, I hate those pop-ups. I don't know how to turn them off on this tablet, and they drive me nuts. Um, so, I hope you guys can ignore them, too. I also got the number... Why will not? Okay, 1320. And in Greek, it means master, instructor, doctor, teacher, and Jesus. And I thought that was great, too. Um, also, I had an earthquake dream um, two nights ago. And the very next day, um, I get the number 967, which in Hebrew means to disperse or scatter. And that was my confirmation on the earthquake dream, so that must be coming soon. And what's crazy about the number 967, usually when I get three-digit numbers, he'll have me look at the clock as a confirmation number. And so then I look it up in Hebrew. But in this case, of course, 967 wouldn't be on a clock. I can't even remember how he gave me this um, 967 at the moment. But, um, yeah, I knew I should look it up automatically because it's a number where I, I wouldn't normally see. And then... Um, so last, last night I'm praying to the Lord and I ask him if he'd give my husband the same dream as me or type of dreams so that if I didn't remember him, like I've been doing lately, um, I'm only remembering about half my dreams. And I told him, you know, if, could you give it to him? So, um, this morning I'm sitting and my husband comes in and he asked me a question and I just said, hold on, hold on, I'm trying to remember my dream from last night. I said, it was something about time travel and his eyes were huge. He was like, you're kidding. Um, that's exactly what I dreamed about. And I remember my dream. Time travel is real and is I don't know uh, what's about to happen as far as time travel goes, but... In my dream, anywhere you were near, like, something that put off a lot of, um, I guess, electricity, 
Um, he showed me a train, like the train tracks, I guess, can make the dimensions merge or something or create a portal of some kind. And in my dream, I said, wow, this is like that movie Back to the Future. Um, so um, my husband, can he told me his dream about time travel. And I guess we were out foraging, going through houses and things and... Just like in every other dream he has, we seem to always be doing that, looking for uh, things that we might need. He said that we would walk into one house, and um, I said, wow, what, wait a minute, we're in a different time. And he thought that, you know, I was wrong, or just um, it was my imagination. He let me know that in the dream. And then he started noticing the same thing. And so if we walked into like a store, we're searching for newspapers to see if we had went backwards or forwards in time. So the dimensions were all merging and we were actually going through different timelines somehow. So I'm going to pray about this and ask the Lord to reveal more to me. And like I said, I didn't remember all my dreams, so I'd probably have more information for you if I did, but I didn't. And him getting the same dream on the very same night is confirmation for me. And also, Watchman for Christ 333, his channel, I just watched a video of his, and he was confirmation on um, storms coming, and also uh, he's seen flooding, and so the, that was my confirmation for those. Um, I don't know if he did mention an earthquake or not. I can't remember. But um, I did get confirmation, like I said, the very next day he gave me the number meaning scatter. And so uh, I think that was about all that I needed to share with you guys for now. Oh, I did get another number, which meant um, to prepare, appointed, or to tell, and uh, enumerate or enroll also. But when he gave me that number, I hear him say, prepare my people. And I hope to start remembering more of my dreams. Hopefully when they get my health straightened out, then I'll be able to remember much more than I can right now. So um, I see a specialist this week, and hopefully they can um, do something about some of my health problems because it seems that the better health I'm in, the more dreams I do remember. Um it seems like if you're too tired, also if you're not awakened during the night, um, you're sleeping all the way through, if you want to set an alarm in the middle of the night, it tends to help remember the dreams because you're you're awakened when they're, they're when you're dreaming and then it's easier to remember. So for those of you who say you can't remember your dreams lately, um, you might want to try that. It's really helped me a bunch. So I'm remembering about half now instead of very little. And I think that was it. Oh, there I got that blue planet there that I put in my last dream. And also the vortexes that I've seen in the sky. And hopefully he'll give me something else to share with you. Like I said, I'm going to pray about the time travel dream and see what else or if there's anything I'm missing. Because I don't really know what he's showing me about it. But I know that it, it is real. And I think that was that and the dimensions merging and us being able to see into the other realms. And that's going to start freaking people out. So maybe that was the warning for this dream as well. Um, I hope you're all well. And if anyone can help me out, my PayPal is always in the link, link below. Oh, and I think also, I don't remember if I told you guys, I've had many, many dreams of plagues. And they started before this coronavirus, um, you know, even became headline news. So I was going to try to put a link in the description also um, for a nurse talking about the coronavirus in China and how they're downplaying it in the media. So um, he gave me, I think, three dreams of the plagues coming, and my husband received two of those as well. And so I wanted to also warn about that. And like I said, if I can do it, I'm not very technically savvy, but if I can put um, this link about this nurse um, talking about the coronavirus, I'm going to try to put it also in the description. And I hope you're all well. Like I said, in every video lately, I'm praying for you all every night. And if you could please pray for me and my family, um, that would be great. I really appreciate you and love you all. Bye.